Since OBS 30.2 finally came out, everyone is excited about the new Twitch enhanced broadcasting. But the new update actually brought something even cooler. It's called hybrid MP4 recording format. And today I'll show you how it works and why you should use it for your future recordings. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So what is hybrid MP4 and how does it work? Well, if you watch my old videos, you would know that I never recommended recording in MP4 itself because if something happens to your PC, like the power cut or anything else, really, you, it would completely corrupt the recording no matter how much you were going on for. If you were recording for an hour, if something happens to your PC, the whole one hour footage would be gone. If you recorded at MKV or FLV or any of those kind of formats, if something happened, it would cut at that point and everything that happened before would stay and you would keep the footage. So what is hybrid MP4 and why is it such a cool thing? Well, if you don't know, hybrid MP4 basically makes the MKV useless now, right? It's, it's still in beta. Keep in mind that it is still in beta and there might be issues. So maybe you can wait like a few more updates for it to be like fully released and you know it's safe. But what it does is it combines MKV and the normal MP4. That way you can still record in the hybrid MP4. And if your footage crashes, it will save up to that point. It will not corrupt the whole file, which is absolutely huge for people recording videos like myself. So how do we actually add it? So first we need to go into the OBS over here. We go into the settings. Make sure that your OBS is obviously updated to the latest version. Current version is 30.2, but there might be some later versions going on after that. Uh, you go into the output over here and then you will go to recording. So in recording, you will see the recording format over here. This is like I said before, you have a bunch of different formats, MKV, FLV, MP4 and all of that stuff. Like I said before, I was always recommending MKV and then converting that MKV into MP4 so you don't lose any footage. Now you have the hybrid MP4. As I said, it is still in beta. So you can enable this and that's basically it. Like you don't need to do anything else. It's if you have all the other settings set correctly, like I said before, you should be fine. Just switch it to the hybrid MP4, apply, and then your next recording will automatically be in the MP4 file. Keep in mind that some editing programs might not support this file just yet, but they will be in the future. And that's basically it. Let me know if this video helped you out. Let me know what you think of the new hybrid MP4 format. Are you using it? Did you have any issues with it? If you did like the video, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.